Yeah. Hmm. Got me thinking. Got me thinking, head on. No, I haven't. Um. Watched a video on YouTube last night. Fucking hell. And it's basically saying, yeah. It's saying what I heard in a documentary years ago. And the Chinese are up to it. They're up to it. They're having a go. They're having a go at this targeting bioweapons to race and or ethnicity. Yeah. That's the, the, yeah, that's what they're going, that's what, yeah, that's what they're trying, they're trying it on. They're trying it on them Chinese, them communists. Them communists when they want to be. CCP. CCP. Com Chinese Communist Party. I think. <clears throat> and, uh it's some statement or other. This guy's what? He's a, he's one and a half of them two geezers who worked in China. They've got they've got they've both separately got YouTube channels. And they both got they both worked in China, and I think they kind of got to know one another while they were living in China. They neither of them are now living in China. One of them's from America, I believe. One of them's originally from America. And one's originally from South Africa. Well, this particular video I watched last night about the Chinese uh, bio potential bioweapon thing was uh, he's the, the the guy from the United States, but you know he's looked at various things, looked at various sources, and, and had a bit of a dig into it, and he's and he's uh, read he, or he's watched the Chinese geezers actually talk because he speaks Chinese, you see. You and I can, you know, we can listen to them and, and see what they say, but they could be saying, oh, and all we know is what they want us to know. All we know is what their interpreters tell us. Because I don't speak Chinese. Chinese. Well, this guy does. So he can listen to some top-level Chinese general giving it all that, and he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. So that's your plan, is it? And his plan's a fucking scary one. Proper, real deal. Is it... Again, it's, it's, a, it's the data mining. Carry on. They've been collecting DNA information from the Western world, from from the rest of the world. The Western world, the rest of the world, the cities, whatever the fuck. Anywhere and everywhere, they've been collecting ch DNA information. Uh, and using it to their advantage. What, you know, what's this DNA caper? How can we use that? How can we wangle that into a bioweapon? Yeah. Wuhan Institute of Virology. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so you can't, I can't help thinking, I can't help but join dots that aren't there. I start thinking of all all manner of cockeyed scenarios as to where or how this could this could be panning out. And I think I've said in previous in previous videos, you know, this current COVID caper, I really do believe it's a it's a shot across the bowels. It's a a quick sort of right look, let's get ready. Let's let's just let's just have a practice, see if see what happens. Nationally, if it actually does, if you know, if somebody tried it on, somebody tried it on with some fucking bio weapon. As I say, I'm not, I'm not downplaying the undoubted misery and suffering that COVID has wrought, has wrought. I think is right, right word. Has brought to many people. You know, people died of it. It's a real deal. It's killing people. But. Numbers-wise, percentages of people who 
contract it. You know, it's not... It's not some scary-ass shit to keep you awake at night in the style of rabies or Ebola or smallpox. Yeah, smallpox, mm, you know, allegedly we've, we've kind of eradicated smallpox. So, so we're led to believe. But there's plenty, plenty of hideous shit up and down <coughs> that will cause a whole... A whole raft more shit than COVID has caused. Mm. 